episode one of season two. I'm Anna, and this is Lovely Lady Cakes TV. If you're just now tuning in, this is a show where I do all fun baking items and sweet treats. Today, we're gonna be making a dessert that is staple in New Orleans. Or, I just happened to be watching Princess and the Frog and got really excited. Uh, but this person requested. Requests are a new part of the show that when I pick your requests, you guys win a fun magnet to put on your fridge or do whatever you want with. So, feel free to leave me your requests. Oh yeah, peace and love, 1519, requested beignets. Did you just say been gay? No, I didn't say been gay. I said beignets. Or you might have heard them as beignets, but let's go check out our Google translation just to make sure. Beignets. Thanks, Google Translation. Well, beignets. Really mean in French, fried dough. Or us Americans call it donuts. So, let's go get making our beignets. All right, to start off our beignets. First, you need to start with one and one half cup of lukewarm water. This will help activate the yeast. Pour it into a bowl, and you just add your whole packet of yeast. And one half cup of sugar. So next, just set this off to the side so the yeast can activate. We want to set it off to the side about 10 minutes, and then, Get another bowl and we're going to start cracking two eggs. One cup of evaporated milk. And then add one fourth teaspoon salt. Then take your wired whisk and we'll mix it up. It helps break up the eggs. Now your yeast should all be dissolved, which means it's activated. And next, add the egg mixture and the evaporated milk and salt to it. All right, next we have seven cups of bread flour, but we only want to add three cups to the egg mixture right now, like they do at Cafe de Moon. one half cup of our shortening. We're just gonna add one half cup into the liquid. And just mix it up. Then you just wanna add the rest of the four cups of bread flour right into the mixture. So I didn't use my KitchenAid because this batter likes a lot of love and you need to get your fingers in it. All right, my dough is thickening up, so I'll just take a little more bread flour and then I'm gonna knead it for about five minutes. rise. It needs to double in size and to do that get you a clean bowl, some vegetable spray, we're going to spray it down and then just add your dough right on in. Ooh, the dough is risen. Ah, come on. So next, our dough has risen about double the size. I'm going to break off a piece and using my flour, my bread flour, sprinkle down on your surface, roll it out, roll the dough out. Make sure you flour your rolling pin really well. And then we're going to cut them into nice little squares. All right, it's time to fry up our beignet. That just means that we need to put some oil in a pot and boil it. I'm using canola oil. You can use sunflower oil. You can use olive oil. You can use Crisco. But you just really want this oil to get really hot and you know when it's ready when you add your dough right on in and it starts to sizzle like that. 
look. And when he starts to come up to the top, you just want to flip him over and keep flipping him until he's nice and brown. If you don't have a spider tool, you can go ahead and use a fork, a spoon, a spatula, whatever you feel like helps you grab onto these bad boys. But this one's nice and dark, so I'm going to pull it out and put it on a paper towel to dry. Our Binye. look a little naked. What we need to do now is add some powdered sugar to them. This is a fun part with all your family and your kiddos. So what you want to do is right after it gets out of the batter and it still have a little of the oil left on there, throw it in a brown bag. Woo! And then just take some powdered sugar. Woo! Throw it in. Close it up. Take them out and let everybody enjoy some homemade beignets. Should we try it? Let's try one. Mmm. Look at the yummy dough in there. It's comfort food for the soul. Thanks for joining me, guys. Mmm. Ooh, look at the steam. <laughs> it's still hot. Mmm. See you later. you guys this week is da, 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 it's Valentine's Day soon and I want to know what you guys are doing for your loved ones are you making them something or what are you doing to make it special and unique and I love you and all that good stuff my girlfriend once actually put a bunch of Hershey kisses in the front yard of her boyfriend's house so when he woke up that morning he saw will you be my Valentine how cute well I want to hear what you guys are doing so leave me your comments and don't forget to subscribe and big thing is you gotta follow me on Twitter so you know what's going on and when the next videos are. And I love you guys and I will talk to you next week. Bye-bye.